Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, we're shooting, uh, we're shooting some cab overs. Yeah. So, this specific segment of the 75 Chrome Shop Show segments, videos, video segments. Yeah, things. that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. The the you know the pieces we're shooting for it's the 75 Chrome Shop Show. This is where you're going to see all the very very cool cab overs, and there are some really cool ones to see for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's at least I think there's like maybe five six of them over here that I remember from walking around, and uh, there's some really neat looking trucks. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the old historic version of the videos we're doing. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane here. So let's get. I know there. I know there's a ton of people who love cab over, so I'm pretty excited to go walk around and show everybody these and uh, get to talk to the owners. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so, let's go do it. Let's do it. All right. Okay, guys. So here is a really cool Peterbilt cab over. I want to introduce you to the owner of this truck. He's gonna walk us around, talk to us a little bit about it. Brian. This is your Peterbilt cab over. Tell us yes, how it is that you come to come to own this piece of equipment. Uh, just growing up uh, in, a, in, a, in a trucking family, uh, that's all. That's all my grandfather and uncles used to drive was cab overs, and so I got I got bit early, I guess you could say. And yeah. and even though I own uh, you know a small fleet of, of uh, six or seven trucks that uh, we want to drive in throughout the southeast in Texas, I mean my heart still these old cab overs. I, mean, I just I just love them so that, they do have like a very distinct coolness about it and I always, I always like running into other lifers I'm a lifer as well grew up in the trucking industry it's really nothing better like you know, like once you're in it you're in it you don't really get yep. to get get back out of it right <laughs> so uh, I noticed this is an aluminum frame truck yeah so uh, back then you had, I think you had the option to go either aluminum or steel right yeah you could actually, actually you could do you know all steel all aluminum and actually uh, do a mixture of uh, aluminum with maybe like uh, uh, steel uh, cross, cross members. members. So yeah, there's, there's a couple of different options you could choose from from the factory. Originally, um, it did come with the 8V92 Detroit, and over the years it was changed to a Big Cam 350. But other than that, everything else is stock on it. Uh, 13 speed, uh, 433 rears. Um, like I say, aluminum frame. It originally was a California truck. Uh, belonged to the fire department out there in Eureka, California. So they had it there to pull their water tanker, and eventually, when they finally got rid of it, it ended up in my hands a couple years back. So what, what transmission did you say it was running? Uh, 13. See? They do exist. 12513 <laughs> RTO. So like we got this, there's this running joke on our channel because every, so far every single truck we built and every single truck we drove for the past six and a half months has all been 18 speeds. Like, yeah, that's one of those things. I'm a 13 speed kind of guy, and yeah. I was like, you know what? We're gonna find somebody. Somebody here at the show will have a 13 speed. So, uh, the inside of this truck, I was kind of shocked when you opened the door. Can we? Yeah. Can we show our viewers? Sure. Yep, all original interior. Um, it's yeah. cherry. I mean, it, it. I mean, you can tell it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't abused. I mean, you know, definitely was taken care of. Low miles. Definitely taken well. Like very well taken care of I, I really liked the fact that like when we opened up the door panels these are all original door panels and they're clean they're nice you don't see cab overs in this kind of condition too terrible much so you got this truck completely like this it didn't just like no, no. Every, everything's original I've, I've done a few things uh, mechanically to it but uh, interior 100% just like it was they came out of the factory man and that is slick it is really hard to find a cab over in this kind of condition guys yeah definitely a survivor yeah slick you gotta love the dual exhaust coming off this thing it's such a pretty truck but we've got more to go see so we're gonna go check out some more cab overs there's plenty of them out here and uh yeah getting excited about this <laughs> all right guys here's another really cool truck this is a peterbilt 362 and you guys can tell this thing's had a lot of work done to it i really love on the top all the clearance lights those are definitely like that just makes a cab over to me and the and the visor on it yeah just that big flat front end is cool <laughs> reminds me of terminator 2. terminator 2? <laughs> yeah where he jumps the cab over off the bridge oh yeah 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 I, like whenever i see one from this angle it's like oh man he's coming to get you <laughs> <laughs> 
but this is just a super nice truck uh, I mean this thing going down the road you're gonna turn your head and look at this for sure yeah, well, it, yeah, again, the cool factor to these old cab overs, they're, they're very unmistakable. Yep. And then here we have the owner. All right, guys. So this truck, uh, I don't know, it's super cool. Like we showed you earlier, just the front end of it. The owner, Tom, is nice enough. He's going to walk us around and tell us a little bit about the truck. You're from Ashland, Ohio? Yes, sir. Awesome. And do you work this thing? Uh, this worked, uh, so so I bought this off of my buddy that owns this A model here, Brandon Carpenter. Okay. Um, and uh, it worked up until January 1st-ish. Okay. Um, uh, he had a driver in it, and I've been just getting going through mechanical and everything, getting it ready, and then I'll start working it here probably in the next six months. So she'll be back to work. And awesome. Looking large. I bet this thing's a ton of fun to drive down the road. Uh, it, it's awesome. It's, it's a blast to drive. I mean, everybody... I mean, you almost have to turn the CB off sometimes because <laughs> everybody's just, they go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yep. absolutely. I can imagine that for sure. And so this is a 95 362. Yes, sir. Can we open up the door and look inside? Yeah. Yes, sir. What engine trans setup's in here? Uh, so this has a 127 Detroit in it. Nice. Um, and then it's got a 10 speed trans, which uh, eventually I'm. You know, I'll update to 13 speed. Okay. And um, uh, 355 rears, uh, 255 inch wheelbase. All right, so after talking to him a little bit more, I learned a lot more cool things about this truck. And if you look at it, the trailer kind of seems like it goes with the truck. Well, that's because it does. Uh, the trailer is actually a Great Dane. It's a 1996, and the truck's a 95. So it, you know, everything about it matches uh for the period i guess you could call it um and if you just look down this thing it's such a super clean truck the painted tanks are cool it's got a fiberglass cover on the on the frame the 34 inch hogue built quarter fenders on it and i mean you just look down this trailer you would think finding a trailer that is a uh as old as this one is it would have like scar marks and stuff down the side of it from tree limbs or whatever just from being a working trailer but this thing is super straight and uh you know it's a work it's a working it's a working truck for this guy here real soon and probably i would say it's still a work in progress he's got a lot of plans to keep doing stuff to this truck so maybe next year we get back down here and it's at the show uh it'll probably be even even in better condition with more cool stuff done to it you can kind of stay under here. There's that 12.7 Detroit 60 series in it. And again, it's a 10 speed in this truck. So I love the paint job. All the lights changed out on it, the clears, custom bumper, custom visor, all the lights on top. I mean, this is this one sharp cab over for sure. All right, check this thing out. This is a 1980 Peterbilt cab over here. And looking in the back of it, I noticed that that is definitely some yellow in the engine bay there. But oh, has this thing got a cat in it? This thing's got a big cat in it. Oh, I gotta check that out. Surprisingly Of course it enough. does, look, it's got a sticker. And it says, cat. Yes. That's all the proof you need right there. Yeah, it is. But surprisingly, that is not a B-model cat, so be really interested to talk to the owner on this one to try to figure out what he's done to modify that that's pretty cool definitely makes this thing unique I love the lights bars running up the stacks right there that's pretty cool too yeah I've seen that on a couple old uh, cab overs it's that's like one of those things that's almost like exclusive to cab overs because like rear exhaust is only cool on that style of truck yeah yeah but it's super cool on this style of truck right so it's like you know it's it's, it's not really cool on your conventional like cab trucks but these uh these cab overs rear exhaust is like the well i guess it's like the only way literally yeah i don't know there's not a lot of good options other than that and uh i mean that's part of the thing that makes these cab overs cool is the is the big rear exhaust back here um cowbell's awesome i you know i like to know the story behind it too the back of the sleeper says uh we can get around here second time around so pretty neat truck pretty neat truck i love the I love these. They just have so much style to them. Um, and this guy's not, 
He's not far away from uh, uh, from us. He's in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, Flemingsburg. It's I think it's up close to Lexington. Nice. Maybe, maybe we could maybe get him to come to uh, our show in June. Yeah. That'd be cool. So I noticed his tag on the front is uh, the one to the right here. Uh, the Bluegrass Chapter of the American Truck Historical Society. That's the ATHS. I actually know the guys up in Tennessee who run the Tennessee chapter. And they're coming to the show too. We talked to them, so I know they were they were bringing some, uh, some on uh, some of the trucks out of Crossville at least. So. Yeah, so that's just like this huge organization of old classic trucks, and uh, that's that's how you know these these guys are the the, the true. Uh, what am I looking for here? The enthusiasts. Yeah, I mean like they, they they know so much more stuff than, than we do like the, the old guys like they've been around it for so long well, i bet always, they have awesome stories well, i mean these guys were in the transportation industry when we were born <laughs> so, or before, or before. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely maybe we can find the owner to this truck and uh get a little history on this thing for sure we found the owner of the cab over sherman and uh you've been telling me you've owned this truck for a long time yeah about 26 27 years something like that okay yeah he was sitting in a barn a lot wasn't anything there much but a cab in front of the axle, no engine, no mirrors, no stacks, no, no, been cut off. Huh. About halfway back to the frame, been cut off. And I drove a dump truck for a fellow that had a little junkyard. And yep. all, and he asked me one winter, said, said, would you rather have a Christmas bonus or what's left of those trucks out there? And I, I was always looking at this old truck sitting out there in the weeds. And, <laughs> I said, well, I'll take that old truck. Yeah. He thought he got me, but <laughs> I bought this cat. It's a 96 model, 3406 C model. But it's never been, I don't know if we're a bull trailer or not. I never have had her hooked to a trailer. Yeah. Just put this engine. What, uh, what transmission's in it? It's a 15 over. 15 over? I think that transmission's out of a, a 78 model, a 78 model. I don't, I don't remember what it come out of. It's got them air windshield wipers on it. Boy, we was coming down the road there a little more and it started raining. I, I turned the windshield wipers on. Of course, they wouldn't work, you know. <laughs> them contrarious things there was. You turn them on, you wait a while, and all at once it'll scare you to death. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll start work. But, you know, like I said, I just drove it. November, December, January, and February. I've done that for eight years. And that old that mattress back there in that bunk, the heat off that engine would keep that mattress warm, and you could shut this truck off and sleep all night. Because that engine, that the engine, engine heats bed, the floor up. Heat, heat the mattress up, well, just like sleeping in a feather bed. I, I talked to several people. They said you take this thing all over to all kind of truck shows. Yeah, I've been to Walcott. I've 80 and I've been to four states. Been over to the large car over in Lexington, Virginia. Yep. Let's see. I reckon down here is, I think it's my fourth time down here. They're just out riding around. There you go. Watching people watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a cool Kenworth K100. Um, I We haven't found the owner on this truck, so we're just going to kind of walk around and talk about this thing. One thing I really like about this truck, look how long it is. This dude hooked up to a trailer has got to just look like a boss going down the highway. Um, there's a lot of really cool, unique custom stuff on it. Um, and I imagine, you know, over time this guy's going to have this truck pretty dialed in. I mean, he's heading in the right direction with it anyhow, but what a cool truck. The Kenworths have a little bit different look to them on the front end. And uh, I don't know, all these cab overs, they're so unique. They have so much character to them. They're just fun trucks. All right, guys, that's it for the cab over segment of this show. Yeah, there was a lot of cool cab overs. I mean, there's not a ton of them, but the ones that are here are definitely neat. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, the guys who have the cab overs, the older guys who had them, they're, you can definitely tell they're the very traditional, enthusiastic, uh, like, enthusiasts. Right? Yeah, yeah. They, so. they have so much knowledge of things going on, and it definitely makes that, like, a cool aspect to get to sit and talk to them. 
and this all the stuff from like way back when is is it's cool. Yeah. Well, what's unique is I think like this truck behind us is the only one that was manufactured after the year I was born. So, <laughs> so there's so that. These trucks have a lot of history and typically the guys running them, yeah. they got they got quite a bit of trucking history too. So it was really neat. I could sit around and talk to Mr. Kern all day long. Like his his trucking stories and how he came to get that specific cab over was really really cool. So yeah. All right, but anyway, you, you guys, guys know, know what, what to, to do. do. Like, subscribe, and then follow us on Instagram. At Semi-Casual Show. And then we'll see you guys next time. Later.